Hey guys, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop, where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. That's right, just like that extended warranty you just had to get with that used car. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Today, on the operating table, we have an example of a series and or parallel circuit. If you've ever wondered what the heck is the difference between the two and how they work, let's go ahead and take a peek under the hood and see exactly how that works. Alright, so what we have here is a rough example of a series circuit. I know this doesn't look like much, but fundamentally this is how it works. If you take a look over here, I've got two breakers wired in series. This is my main line in, this is my load line going out to our little blinky light. That's our load. So when I have the system energized, I have to have both of these on to work. See, if I kill one or the other, it doesn't matter. It will kill the power going to my end result there. Now, for sake of argument, let's say that these are two push buttons. And this is the way that a lot of industrial equipment works. In order to keep your digits away from dangerous things, you have to hit two buttons simultaneously for an action to work. Let's just say like a press is coming down, something you don't want to get your hands in. So you can't push just one button or just the other button. You have to press both of them. So you, your hands have to be somewhere safe on a button and out of danger for this to happen. This is a totally normal circuit and it's used all of the time. Now, if we de-energize this circuit and just change a couple small little things, It doesn't take much, but this is one of those normal things that you'll see in your day to day. It'll really help if you understand how they work. Let's go ahead and change that. Go ahead, add a wire there. Slap that into the load. Now, what we've effectively done here after we re-energize the circuit, this is now a parallel circuit. I have the power coming in to the bottom of both of my switches, and I have the power coming out of the top of both of my switches. So I can turn on just the left one, have an end result. I can turn on just the right one, have an end result. Or I can turn on both of them and have the same thing. This is kind of a fail safe, so if one stops working, it continues to work. The best way to think of series and parallel is with your Christmas lights. You know, you lose one bulb, the whole dang string goes out. That's a series circuit because that entire circuit is relying on that one bulb in a line to keep working for the rest of the string. Now, this is a super common and dumbed down explanation of series and parallel circuits, but you will run into this stuff all of the time if you start diagnosing electrical circuits. You can have more complex circuits where a parallel will include series or series will include parallel parts of the circuit. That's a completely common thing that you would run into. We can go a little bit more in depth in how these circuits work in different situations where you might find them. Let me know if you're interested. We'll see you next time.